What's the deal, family? Welcome back to the Realist Reaction Channel on YouTube. It's your boy Sean, and we here with another banger for y'all, man. So look, uh, we got Isle of Man, Isle of Man TT to be specific, and we also got Guy Martin, man, on deck. Now y'all been requesting and suggesting and commenting Guy Martin since the first Isle of Man video, man. You guys have not stopped. You guys have been relentless. And I don't know what I was waiting on, to be real. I don't know what I was waiting on, but I had to do it. Uh, and today's the day, man. Today is the day. Because I keep getting my uh, my Isle of Man videos going crazy. And I keep getting those comments, bro. Guy Martin, react, 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 react. It's so much, bro. I got to do it. So it's here. So all y'all who are uh, waiting on it, we good now, right? We good, man. So we got Guy Martin, man. For those who don't know, Guy Martin is an uh, Isle of Man legend. Legend, bro. Like like highly respected um been through it been done it won <laughs> everything he's a legend he you think of isle of man you think a guy martin you think a guy martin you think of isle of man tt for real for real um and i know that just solely based on your guys' comments man i'm knowing that because of y'all you feel me some of the videos talk about him obviously but really you guys are what's telling me who he is and what he does man and how important he is to the motorsport uh to the Two motor, two motor sport. So boom. For a little background, for those who don't know, Guy Martin, man, born 19, 1981, British motorcycle racer. They say former because he retired in 2017 um, to do Formula One. So that's what he did. He retired from uh, racing to do Formula One. Uh, but he did his first. Uh, he did his first race in 2004. That was his first road circuit. That was at Isle of Man. But he's been racing since '98. Uh, 17 podium finishes, man. Bunch of accidents. Yep, joined Formula One. And that's pretty much it. So we about to see uh, this uh, crash he had in 2010. So six years after he first uh, did his race at the Isle of Man, six years later, he got into a really bad crash, apparently. But he still continued to race for seven more years. Remember, man, you, gotta, you can't be scared, man. These dudes out here, they do it for a reason. They do it for a reason, man. So let's get to it. Isle of Man TT Guy Martin Crash 2010. If you are sensitive, which I'm sure you probably aren't, but if you are sensitive to like graphic things and stuff, you probably want to head out right now. You know what I'm saying? If you're weak with that, just head out right now. But if you're okay with that, and will be my see, uh, continue to watch. Let's get it. Well, the parade lap is coming to its conclusion here. Sorry for pausing. Send me more racing reactions. It could be Isle of Man. It could be Motorsport. It could be Formula One, um, drag racing, hot rods, supercars. It, it'd be whatever. Send it to me in the comments. Street racing, burnouts, whatever. Send it in the comments. We're going to have the senior TT race going in just under an hour's time at half past 12. And we will, of course, give you all the build-up and the interviews as the riders get out. There you go. There go that man. Hey, let's keep it a buck though. Let's keep it real. He looked like if I had to think of a person to be the ultimate like supreme motor motorcycle racer is him. It couldn't be no other way. It have to be him. He was literally he was literally born and made for this. Man. Got the females out there, uh huh. Females out there, they doing their work. This fool got a whole brigade of t-shirts for the boy. This boy got a, a fan base. They got t-shirts for the boy. Watch the flag which drops. You on the track. Mountain Maestro, John McGuinness, now number three. Ian Rock. And that's Hutchie on the number four. Key table goes. And Cameron Donald. So Mike is away on the Cam McDonald. Guy Martin on the Wilson Craig Honda. There's only point zero six to a second then between him and number four, Ian Hutchie. Yeah. John McGuinness. You want me, bro. Four of a second down on him. So one and a half seconds cover the top four here. And a tight line in for number eight, Guy Martin. 131 mile an hour lap for Guy, 131.108. That's Guy Martin's fastest lap ever around the mountain course, and he's absolutely on top today. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you say? Around the mountain course, and he's at 31.1. 
number eight, Guy Martin. 131 mile an hour lap for Guy, 131.108. That's Guy Martin's fastest lap ever around the mountain course, and he's at 131.08. Let's keep it, let's keep it, let's keep it, let's keep it real here. You know what I mean? The amount of the amount of bravery going into this is crazy, dog. Like, let's keep it real. And then you got to pass these dudes up, too. Because that's what I'm assuming is going to happen. He's going to try to pass somebody up or something, and then it's going to go crazy. But he's moving, though. They're saying this is as fast as one he's ever done right now. It's 2010. Absolutely on song today. It's all about those guys on the... Number eight. eight. Number eight. That's him right here. Remember... They all go, I want to say it's 10 seconds apart. I could be off a little bit. It might be 20 seconds or five. They go about 10 seconds apart is when they start. So if you're holding your position, the person who's after you is going to be at least 10 seconds behind you or more. Right? And if you're on, if you're catching up, if you're catching up to somebody, you're going to close that gap within that 10 seconds. This is clearly not a 10 second gap. And that's what I'm thinking is going to happen, man. Both all, this dude catching up too. He's the one that's trying to get away. We're going to see what happens, though. Ten plates, Guy Martin and Connor Cummins, but it's so close right behind them. Hutchie e and John McGinnis are right there in the mix. These views is crazy, man. These little, like, the aerial views plus the bike views is insane. It's a beautiful island, man. Whoever lived there, man, shout out, man. Yeah, whoever lived there. Whoever lived there, if you lived there and you, and you in the comments right now, were you born there or did you move there? Let me know in the comments. This dude is moving fast. Damn. Bro is moving. <laughs> He closed that gap like that. That dude put on the CCs, buddy. He put on the CCs, buddy. We put the we extra torque. Oh my gosh. It's down to fractions of seconds because of the bungalow. Guy Martin has narrowed the gap on Connor Cummins to just one tenth of a second. That's all there is. It's still desperately, desperately tight. Guy right in front of me here now, red torpedo on the back of his leathers, and uh, yeah, just watch that speed go on. And Guy Martin, let me just give you his details, 130.642, and he was the race leader at Rock in Mona, but still waiting for Connor. Connor's here now. 130.642, his last lap was 131 or something. So he did he, even faster, even faster. 130.278. A brand new tire in for guys. He fires up and he is away right now. So great pit stop by the Wilson Craig team. And it's the McAdoo boys who run it now. Trying to up Mark and Mark just says, go, 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 go. She fires and the big man is away now. Woo! It's off. Gap there in between Hutchinson and Michael Dunlop and Keith Moore appearing here, and the road goes quiet. Ah, here. Michael Dunlap too. He's nice. He be doing. He be doing his work too. Dunlap or Dunlop. Either way, Michael be doing his For thing a moment too. Or two. But uh, we're still waiting. Uh, machine number eight. Why is so quiet? Connor at number 10, so we don't appear to have a Guy Martin here. Uh, we're still waiting for Keith Moore here. What do you mean? Guy Martin is missing. Well, back here in the grandstand, we're not sure if we've got a red flag situation. The race has been stopped. Because a fire engine has to go onto the track. Wait, wait, wait. What's that lot going on in this? Hey, look. I know, like, the crash is not funny. I'm not laughing at the crash. But I bet you this dude been waiting. <laughs> I bet you these dudes, the little, uh, the mechanics or the maintenance or whatever, I don't know what you call it, the service guys, the guys making sure everything's good, right? I bet you they can't wait to hop on that bike to go, gotta go fight. <laughs> oh, this is not the right timing. But look, I'm just saying. I know they can't wait to hop on that bike and hit their little zoomies real quick. <laughs> the 
Where the hell is Guy Mark, man? You know, he's serious at Balagheri. It's only the second senior race in a hundred years to be red flagged. The second time of a red flag in a hundred years. Guy Martin has a great response to fight for Red flag, boys. Red flag. Man, he looked nervous, bro. We believe he's Guy Martin. He's, he... Thank you. You could see the fire in the distance about a mile away. There was smoke, and one of the hay bales was on fire, and they slowed his way down. And then I thought, okay, well, there's the, there's a the hay bale on fire. Oh. Then... Bro, I feel like I've seen, like, that building right here. Or, like, this spot, I feel like I've seen in another crash video. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like I've seen this same little drag, little, little uh, strip right here. Yeah, another crash, but which I'm sure I have. That's just crazy. Well, there's the bike in somebody's yard, and I'm like, okay, we're past the incident. A quarter mile later, there was Guy, and I was like, ah, oh, shit. There was an incident. Guy was missing, so it had to be him. Uh, he crashed at something like 170 miles an hour, so he was off at that speed. He crashed at 170. That's wild, bro. Bro, that's so... I've never been in any vehicle that was going 170. You know what I'm saying? I've never been personally. The fastest the fastest I ever been in the car going was probably like 130, 140. And that was, that was fast. You know what I mean? That was fast. Like if something go wrong, it's, it's I don't know about this. It's a wrap. He going 170 on the bike. Again, shouts out to these dudes who do this race. Because that's... You got to be built different. You got to be built different. You got to be damn near fearless for that, man. That's... Shouts out and, to those uh, people. Of course you were. Shouts out to God. Yeah. You don't jump on a bike at 170 miles an hour and get up again. So... Yeah, man. Yes, we were worried. Paul Dobbs crashed there last night and uh, you know he, he didn't make it so uh, fingers crossed for guy he, he's hitting me and uh, we're worried paul dobbs crashed there last night and uh, you know he, he didn't make it so paul dobbs paul dobbs paul dobbs Paul Radish. Paul Dobbs. Damn it, I almost forgot his name right. Paul Dobbs. Damn, man. I knew I heard so I knew there's more comments. There's more comments about Paul, man. I, and he said Paul crashed there last night and didn't make it. I've seen that video. I think I've reacted to it already. That's crazy. Man. Right. Rest in peace, Paul. Fingers crossed for Guy. It's hit and miss there, you know. There's no run out as there isn't anywhere on the circuit here. And Guy seems to have made a little bit of a, a rider error sort of thing. And he's gone into the wall. It's, uh, it's not looking good. I came up on the circuit. You know, it just looks like a bomb's exploded when out goes on here. The, the wall and all the bales were on fire. You know, guys lay there in the track, his bikes but split in pieces. Like it's, you know, it's horrendous. Yeah, we, everyone's fingers crossed at the minute. To see how guy is. You can't even be there. You can't do nothing. You just gotta wait. Welcome to our race to enter. We all love it. And at the end of the day, if it goes wrong and the worst does happen, they've died a happy man like. Facts. You know, Facts. The show's going on. We've got four laps uh, coming here. We're at three o'clock start. No, it'll be no slower. Again, it was the sound and uh, the blur, but the blur stopped. He's coming around the corner. Good wrestling. Really good wrestling, in all fairness to him. Uh, and he was flying around. The bike comes down and kicks the bike away. And the bike literally turns into a fireball on impact. That's it's a like real the start clip. of a TV program, like an all-action TV program, where the screen is filled with flames, and this silhouette comes.
towards us at another waist tight and this guy. And I'm thinking, oh, here we go, I've got a job. Yeah, the first thing that springs to my mind. Like. So um, I reach around, grab my orange box, the, uh, the med box. I turn around there and guy's flying past me, followed by a, a bike which is on fire and it just screams past me. And then the bike goes over to one side and it's still in flames. I mean, it's black smoke everywhere. It's flames, a heck of a mess on there. And guy's in the middle. Is that him? Or... Yo, this shit crazy, bro. I'm sorry. This shit crazy. I already know. I don't think so I'm not this gonna because you know, I need to check you over first of all. And I said, you know, oh, don't cut my leathers, don't cut my leathers. No, I understand that because I'm a biker, like, and that's the last thing I'd want is somebody to cut my leathers. But he was good. He was <laughs> good. Cut my leathers. <laughs> Definitely somebody up there watching. Bro, damn near lost his life in a bike crash, and he talking about don't cut my leathers, man. You better be, man. Man, shout out to God. No doubt about it. Lucky guy. Yeah, lucky guy, guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was all the man of TT guy Martin Crash 2010 man. Glad he's alive, man. That was crazy. That's a crazy little story, man. But I'm glad he's alive and made it, man. Uh, that's it, man. That's pretty much it. He, he got his years in 2004 to 2017. Good 13 years. Now he doing F1. You know what I mean? Can't be mad at it. Can't be mad at it at all. Shouts out to guy, man. But that was it, all the man TT. If you want to see more videos, put it in the comments. Uh, let me know what's going on. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. All that good stuff. I love and appreciate y'all. Remember to keep it real. Real is rare. Real always reaches everyone. Till next time. Peace.